This song's surprisingly calming. It's like cathartic. The feeling that it gives me is sort of like a the Animal Crossing 8 p.m. theme. Just listen to that on any summer evening, preferably on a Sunday because Sundays are a little bit, you know, they're slower paced, and you'll you'll totally get what I'm talking about. It's it's kind of a magical tune. It's not like fantastic or uh, a musical masterpiece, but it's just I don't know. It's it is amazing. It's kind of a little bit magical. Anyway, hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and welcome back to Earthbound. Last time, uh, we beat the second sanctuary boss, and Paula gained 13 levels in the process. And this time, we're going to be returning to Tucson, telling Paul's family that she's okay, and seeing how the cookies crumble, the cards fold, and the dice roll. Because that's something that turns my crank, uh, st stops the tears, and keeps me sleeping at night. I, I think I messed that that up a little bit, but I'll, I'll roll with it because awkward intros are fun. Don't judge me. In fact, this is one of my, my favorite battle backgrounds, but I didn't mention it because that's once again how I roll. I <laughs> I forgot to get the the thing. I was trying to force a, a groceries reference, but I don't think I'm going to force a groceries reference because that would have been extremely for- Actually, you know what? That wouldn't have been forced at all. Voice crack, but that wouldn't have been forced because look at this. This is- Wait for it. Wait for it. It's a bear. It's a bear. Like, it's Freddy. It's a bear. And we had a bear last time, so- you know, and background's green. I'm really forcing this. The background's green, so... I don't know. Groceries! Okay, I, I made my reference. I'm going to stop now. In fact, does this give Paula... I want to get Paula a level up, preferably? She's close. I know it. Yeah, one more battle. So let's do one more battle, and then I'll use my exit mouse, because I want to give her a level up. And these bears are easy when we attack them from behind. That's how all bears are. Just attack them from behind, that's their weakness. You, like, kick them in the, in the back of the knee so they their legs drop. Whoa, smash! It was a Paula smash, so it wasn't a good smash. But it was still a smash, nonetheless. Imagine if you could smash with PSI attacks, that'd be ridiculous. And we got a teddy bear, 1 in 64 chance. Paula's level is now 15. Offense went up by 1, defense went up by 1, maximum HP went up by 3. Paula realized the power of PSI Magnet Alpha. She's learning moves like crazy. PSI Magnet Alpha is a recover technique that costs nothing, and it will steal 2-8 to eight points of PP from one enemy and give it to Paula. So, it's it's okay. Uh, I'd rather get, I'd rather use PSI Magnet Beta because it takes, it does the same exact thing, but it takes the PP from all of the enemies on screen. So, there are certain parts of the game where farming is ridiculously easy, like, I'm not even talking about, oh, you attack the enemy from behind and it's all okay. No, I'm talking about, like, ridiculously easy. You face swarms of enemy enemies, one-shot them all, but in the process, you use PSI Magnet Beta and steal all of their PP, so you bring yourself back up to full PP. I'm talking about that type of easy farming, and I'll be taking advantage of that, because that's something I did in the later game. Man, it's hard to believe that I'm already talking about the later game, but what I'm talking about is the exit mouse, because I need to use it instead of farming. I need to get out of here. Uh, the, uh, the mouse found a way out and waited for you to follow. And we're at the entrance. I mean, in the world of Let's Playing, I could have just cut to the exit, but... I don't know. I'll... I don't know. I, I wanted to use that because it... It's out of my inventory. Look at that. I have... I have good inventories now. I even have a bread roll, and, it's, and I don't really care because it's not taking up that much space. So, let's go... Cow... Cow! That was that was so rude. That's you're so weird, cow. You just got in my way. <sighs> Trouble cow. I I wanted the cow blue because at least he was entertaining. Okay, let's stay the night and then we can save on the phone and then and you know what? in fact I'll cut that out. So when I go through this door, I will have saved on the phone and 
that will be it. I'll have the, I'll have the text box a different color, because that's why I'm saving on the phone. And I'm back! Uh, the text boxes are now a beautiful shade of banana, and we are going to stop by the Colts place. I have no idea what this building's called. Can you get out of my way? Thank you. Because there were presents in here that I want to grab. There's a croissant inside, which I should take advantage of while it's there. And there's also a skip sandwich, which I really wanted. No, I'm not being sarcastic. I did want the skip sandwich. That's the, the, the entire reason why I'm here. And now we can leave, because we're never coming back to Happy Happy Village again. At least I... No, I don't think so. Unless there's an end game thing that I want to do. But other than that, there's no reason for us to be here for the story. So we can just leave in peace and be happy that we don't have to go back to happy happy and for that i am happy so let's use our skip sandwich here and go and i'm gonna waste the entire sandwich here aren't i i totally am that's oh that's disgusting i just wasted the entire sandwich here man stupid enemies won't re despawn don't they know i'm stinking Ness. Apparently they don't. And both these enemies want to play, and I don't want to play. I don't. I just want to bash them and be on my way. Because I don't want to play today. There's no way. Don't I have a say? Ah. <sighs> Fine, I'll just bash you and smash you as if you were made of potted clay. <sighs> okay, spinning robots destroyed. And the little UFO is done. I'm making poems. And that's all she wrote. And by she, I mean he, because I'm a he, not a she. Now I'm rapping. Wonderful. This is the music episode of Earthbound. Next, I'm going to be singing Nintendo Sings Christmas Songs. <sighs> I want to be done with this area. I didn't want... Okay. I would have been totally fine redoing Happy Happy Village. But having to kind of redo Peaceful Rest Valley is not fun. I'm not happy, happy. Uh, uh, now, nah, of course, I got a red swirl on that. Of course. Okay. Opening attack is a beam. All you have is a beam. Oh, you, you're attacking my teddy bear. I forgot I had one of those. Oh, well, never mind. All is well in the world. All is well in the world. And I'll show you the world. And by show you the world, I mean end your existence in this world. Now, one th good thing about ha the this run of Peaceful Rust Valley is that the bridge is back, so we can skip half of the entire area. Blue, blue. Oops, I won't say it again. I fixed the bridge as a sign of apology. I'm just trying to help. And help you did, sir, because you allowed me to skip an entire half of er an area. And we can move on with our lives, not ever having to go to Peaceful Rust Valley again, unless I want to show much later on that I can insta-kill the trees. That'd be kind of cool. I wouldn't mind doing that. Okay. I don't want to fight you, but I'll have to fight you. Wonderful. So some enemies don't realize that I can insta-kill them. Just watch this. Watch this. Bash and... Okay, he's going to do magnet. Oh no, magnet! <laughs> I attacked you and you're dead. And this red background is really reminding me of my pain. What pain is that, you say? Well... <laughs> story time, because I always have to tell a story about my life, because that's... I should really run a, a vlog channel if I want to do that. But, today was one of the first few days that the sun was out. It wasn't just warm, but the sun was out, and it was gorgeous. So I decided, you know what, I have the freedom to do this, I'm going to go outside and read for an hour or so. Just read a book, in, the cha in a chair. So I did this, and time passed very quickly. Pretty soon, before I knew it, I I'd gone out there at 10 a.m., and it was 12, a, uh, it was 12 o'clock, noon, when I realized what time it was. So I went and ate lunch, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna read again, because I liked that sun. And I went back out until 3 o'clock, in the sun, constantly. And then I realized, with, with a lot of horror, I didn't put on any sunscreen. Yeah. I not one bit of sunscreen, so I'm really burnt right now. This is the afternoon after I did this, so it's the same day, but I'm, I can already tell I'm burnt. I mean, I got a great tan <laughs> in the process of a day, but it's not really a tan right now, it's more like Ness's hat. Yeah, I'm really red right now, and it hurts. Yahoo, I knew it, you saved Paula. 
I don't really understand it, but I know that Paul's miraculous power and your great courage will allow you to stand up to any challenge. Paula, if you must take a trip, be sure to bring this along. It's my very own handmade band-aid. Ooh, that rhymes. I know, I'll, I'll call it Hand-Aid. That's good. <laughs> Did you meet Dad? He's so sorry that he su suspected Mr. Everdred of Berglund Park. So Everdred's name is coming up. And where is he? Is he in here? Oh, there he is. Oh, Paula. Ness, thank you so much. You must be the boy who will save the world, like in Paula's dream. Paula, I'm sure you'll be a you'd be bleh, you'd be a big help to Ness. It's not every day a father lets his daughter embark on a journey to save the world. Dad, don't worry about me. Ness and I will be able to take care of ourselves. In Threed, the next town, we'll meet another friend. If the three of us can combine our power, no one can beat us. Now, wipe your eyes, blow your no nose, and smile before we take off. Goodbye, Paula. Don't worry, I won't cry anymore. Aww, he's following us. Aww. Oh wait, he had, he has a mustache. He totally has a mustache. It's like your standard standard '90s dad, blonde with a mustache. That's <laughs> that's every dad in the '90s. They were all blonde back then, right? <laughs> that's about as ridiculous as saying black and white movies were black and white because people could only see in black and white back then. Which is sad because at one point in my early childhood, I believed that to be true. Hello, Ness. Everdredge is looking for you. He's got something for you. Really? Well, we have to go see Everdred now. And fight the happy party men. Oh, man. I thought you were in the tree. Why are you not in the tree? Uh, that's fine. Annoying old party man will be annoying <laughs> cardiac arrest car party man. With blood for blunt force trauma to the head. Poor man. And I got 65 experience, because that's matter, that matters. Oh wait, you're back here. Okay, I don't think this is Wally. I'm pretty, yeah, that's not definitely not Wally, but I'm, but the guy at the bridge was Wally. Okay, where's Everdread here? You look like Everdread, but you're not Everdread. Where is Everdread? Is he in his house? I was expecting him to be on the roof. Oh, there he is. Everdread, sup, bro? I was going to ask you to be my partner, but I know you'll refuse. Aha! There it is. That's his comment, talking about how he could be our partner. It's written all over your face. If you accepted, I was going to give you some money. Actually, I can't keep the money now anyway. Let me give this to you. It's $10,000. Use the money any way you like. You cannot refuse my generosity. Just accept it. Now, I plan on looking for the evil Mani Mani statue that Liar Exaggerate unearthed in on that. I'll see you in an, at another time, in another space. Ness got the wad of bills, which is $10,000. Whatever shall we do with $10,000? And that's quite a gift. Oh, uh, the hand aid will restore all of your HP. I, I didn't talk about that. But you save it till late game since, you know, a croissant isn't all you need right now. Can I use this? Ness used the wall of bills, but nothing helped. I, I accidentally said wall of bills. So, I don't know where, where, what we're going to do with this, except maybe... Go to the one place that I haven't gone yet. Right up here. Right there. We have never talked to any of these people, so let's do that now. You're with a girl today. You must be pretty popular. How about introducing her to my bandmate? He's right there. Hey, you came with Paula. Then you deserve a present, playboy. Here's a backstage pass. You can get to our shows with this. Ness got the backstage pass. So, what do you say we go into the theater? Except we'll be interrupted by a photo op. And the the celebrity couple Paula, couple Paula and Ness are just really popular right now. And take my picture. That's it. I'll just say fuzzy pickles, and then I will have no further comment since I don't acknowledge paparazzi. Goodbye. Who are you? I'm starting a line here. I want a ticket for today's show, but I may not get it. I love standing in a queue. I also love words that start with Q. Queen, quiet, quick, quirk, e. If I had some connections, I could waltz right in, but I'm just a regular Joe. Maybe if you pretended that that girl was your girlfriend, then you could get a backstage pass like I have. Let's go in here first. The Runaway Five owe me a lot of money. 
They'll stay here until they pay me back. They might here f be here for a hundred years, unless you decide to pay off their debt. <laughs> uh. So the Runaway Five is a band that is deep in debt in Tucson. And that's what we're going to try. We're going to try and talk to them right now. I guess I lost my ticket, so now I can't get in. The ticket counter at the department store was even sold out. But hey, if you're me, you could just use the backstage pass. Here you go. Hurry. You're just in time to see the Runway 5 show. Whoa. Trippy. That's pretty neat. Hey, you kids. How did you get tickets? What are you? The owner's kids or something? I came here because it's tough to get in, but I'm kind of disappointed. There are no good-looking waitresses, and there is no room for me to show off my latest dance moves. Sorry about that. My boyfriend has lost the ticket that I gave him. He's waiting outside the entrance. He's got butter fingers, but he's nice. Oh, that was the guy. Oh, he's really sweet. Hey, hey, hey! Don't get too close to me. I just farted. <laughs> Sorry. Aw. At least he's honest. The Runaway Fives are, uh, Five are going to be the world-famous band someday. When I sit close to the stage, sometimes I get sweat or spit on me from the Runaway Five. Are you happy about that? I'm not sure. Seeing the Runaway Five on stage is my life. Huh. So, it seems like they are the talk of the town. And if you don't see them, then you mo are most assuredly square. Uh, come on. Lucky, Lucky of the Runaway 5 told me I could go backstage, but I don't have a pass. I'm sure security will stop me. Hey, really? You have a pass? I can't believe it. Can you take me with you? Please, please, please? Could you, I could pose as your sister. Yes? This rocks. Let's go. Ooh, my heart is pounding. Oh, so we're backstage, and this is the Runaway 5. Hello. Well, yeah, in the old days, there were lots of dancers and acts at this theater. Except now, we're the only act playing here. We even got into debt here, so we're pretty pretty near stuck. Yuck, yuck, yuck. The folks of Tucson will enjoy the Runaway 5 show for quite a few years. It looks like to me. Shoo, do wop, diddly, uh, diddly dee da. Uh, sorry, let me try that again. Shaba, do wop, diddly dee da. Shaba, dee do, be do, wop, bop, ba, wa. I messed that up. I got these debt blues, mm-hmm. If I had $10,000, I could pay off my debts and move on to the next town. I wonder if our bus still runs. It may still be rusted out. I wrote the lyrics to most of the Runaway 5 songs. Money, that's what I want. Money, that's what's hot. Money, that's what I want. Money, it's what we ain't got. Except freedom, freedom, freedom is what we really saw. I want some bread! I need the coinage! I want more dough all the time! So these guys are really deep in debt. Hey, you gotta see our show, you lucky kid. I hope you pay attention. I definitely will. I'm so excited. I might just wet myself. My heart is going pitter-patter. Well, you enjoy that, because I'm going to see this, this show that everyone's talking about. Sit back, grab some popcorn, and enjoy the ride, folks, because yeah, that's right. Tonight, you got the Chaos Theater Soul Man coming at ya, rockin' and rollin' live on this here stage for a limited time only. The world's greatest bluesmen, the Runaway Five, and here they come. Oh yeah, baby! <laughs>
Mmm, mmm. Wasn't that some great blues? Yeah. I'll be uh, humming that in my sleep. La Mimi, I'm tone deaf. My ba my daughter brought me here. Or sh actually, let me try that again. La Mimi, I'm tone deaf. My daughter brought me here. Fa li li mi. So it's Chugga Conroy in its old age. A young fan like you really gets into the Runaway Five's music. Or sorry, really gets into the Runaway Five's music? Wow, I'm impressed. Yeah, I'll do it, Mr. T. You're you're awesome too. I really love that song you made about mothers because it it applied to this game. Because mother, there ain't no other. They really seem too proud, I mean. They just they're just filled up with this little uh, they just filled up this little music hall after all. So that was a good show. Oh, pardon me. And I didn't talk to anyone there, uh, yeah, I didn't talk to everyone there on purpose because, uh, that's why you're going to get the game, because you're going to get the game, and I, if I talk to everyone, then episodes would take forever. But I'm not going to talk to no one. I already talked about this. So, I feel like the Runaway 5 and I are on a deep personal level now, and I should pay off their debt, because I have $10,000 right in my pocket. I mean, it's like the most convenient thing in the world. So, let me, let me give it to him. Just walk in the room and hand him my wad of bills. Excuse me, what's that you got there? Let me take a real close look. Okay, let's go around the side. And use it again. Yipes! You surprised me. Now I'm not sure what to do. I got the money, of course, and now the Runway 5 are free to leave. I've got no complaints now that I have my money. Well, what do you know? This little nipper took us from a nightmare to a dream. Ow! ow! Sorry. Ow! This means we can get out of this dump. I'm a re I'm a good driver. Come on, I'll show you. All right, let's move on to the next town. I'm sure our old hunk of junk will get us there. I didn't make a spectacle of myself, did I? Sweet! They're free! The Runaway Five are free to leave. I've got no complaints now that I have my money. Awesome, sauce. The sauces are awesome. And now, we can be free to leave too, because that was an easy way to get out of Tucson. We're done here. Nothing else I need to do, so let us leave! Let's go to three. Our tour bus is too loud for any ghost to bother us. Do you want to ride? Yes, I do. Oh, yeah, let's go. Get on the bus. Sweet. Let's get on the bus and go. Okay, guys, here we go. Okay, si hey, sidewalk, get out of my way. Look at that. We, we, went, we, yeah, we went on a bus before, and that didn't work, because the bus drivers are all too scared of the ghosts. But, with this jazzy music, the ghosts will never bother us. We can go right on our way to Threed, on to the next town, without any resistance. And, who knows? Threed may be drastically different from anything we've seen thus far. There's only one foot way to find out. And that is... On this road, because that's literally the only way to find out. I wasn't segueing into the end of the episode. Ghosts may try and bother us, but look at this, look at this. They don't, we don't even care. We don't care. Music's too loud, the vibes are too strong, and the ghosts don't even compare. Except, it looks like we just went from the frying pan into the fire. This is Threed. Looks like we have to say goodbye for now. This t t this town seems pretty gloomy, but I'm sure you can light up this place with your own sp little brand of sunshine. Hope to see you again sometime. Look for us to be singing at some theater in Foreside. Now, this is a shorter episode, I know, but I don't want to be jumping into the awesomeness that is Threed until next time. I have a lot of feelings about Threed, and I'll just leave you with this.
one of my favorite areas of the game. This is the area where I realized that Earthbound was legit, where I got invested in the story, invested in the game, because from here on, the game starts going a lot faster. There is no wandering around town trying to find out what to do in a muddled fashion. The game starts moving quickly, and we're going to be getting your sanctuary locations like nobody's business. So join me next time as we go into my favorite area of the game and really tear stuff up. We're going to tear this town up, pick it up, set it down on its head, and we'll buy groceries all day, and you know what? I, I just realized why I'm referencing Five Nights, uh, the, the groceries thing so much, and that's because I just, I just discovered today that Five Nights at Freddy's 4 confirmed, which means another Let's Play confirmed. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time for another pl PAL Plays Earthbound.